All right, here she is, my brand new Swift canoe. Wow, this is it. This is my campsite. Will you look at that. This site looks like something straight out of a painting. Well, let's go take a look. See what we've got here. Look at all this rock. It's a very big site. Fire pit over here, overlooking the lake. And uh, I see a tent pad right here. Oh yeah. And uh, looks like there's a lot to explore. Beautiful views. And the rain seems to have stopped for the time being. Hopefully that's the case for tonight. This looks like a pretty good spot. See here. That works. Guys, looking ominous once again, so I don't want to waste uh, any time getting my tent set up. Try to get a tarp set up as well. That way, I'll be sheltered. The rain hits. This is October weather. Got to be prepared for this.
It's almost 7 a.m. and it's still pitch black outside. Very cold this morning. So, start off with a little coffee here. Stay nestled in my cozy little tent for a little bit longer. It's a very chilly morning. It's the wind, really, that's making it feel cold. So, I'm nice and sheltered here in my tent. One of the things I love about fall camping is you don't need to worry about bugs flying into your tent. I just sit here, warm up, boil my water, set up, get my coffee going from the comfort of my tent. Got a nice view to look at as well. I'm in a very sheltered part of the lake here, but I'm kind of concerned based on the strength of the wind gusts that have been blowing all night that uh, there might be quite a bit of chop on the lake. Got about 10k to cover today. One long portage, so weather won't matter for that. But uh, I'm very excited to get to my next lake on this trip. Second coffee of the morning and some apple cinnamon protein oatmeal for breakfast today. All right, here's a look at my route for this trip. Started at Bell Lake Access Point. Yesterday I traveled to David Lake where I'm camped all the way at the top here. Today's route takes me back through David Lake and through this 2,700 meter portage to Great Mountain Lake. We'll be camping here tonight. Following night, I'll be going through a series of portages and a creek here, camping on Three Narrows Lake. Then after, afterwards, I'll be headed down through Three Narrows, through a difficult portage here, lots of little lakes, small water, and I'll be camping on OSA Lake. And finally, on my last night, I'll be headed through Killarney Lake, through these lakes here, and I'm going to be leaving the canoe camping sites, and I'm gonna be camping on a backpacking campsite on Haven Lake. Last day, I'm gonna be heading out this way, back to Bell Lake Access. mountain up ahead was hidden yesterday when I arrived here. That's Silver Peak, the highest point in Killarney Provincial Park. And it's simply stunning at this time of year with the fall colors and the white quartzite peeking through. Nice and toasty here. I've got almost all my layers on. Merino t-shirt, merino long sleeve, a puffy, and my uh, life vest keeping me nice and warm. It's warmed up a tiny bit and the warm uh, and the wind has dropped down as well so pretty comfortable just really enjoying this paddle all right here we go longest portage of the trip 2700 meters Quite a scenic portage.
Wow, Portage really opens up here. Wow. Some Cairns show us the way. Didn't expect to be climbing mountains with my canoe on our first trip. <laughs> Without these cairns, it'd be quite tricky to find the trail. Here it goes, it goes down here. Quite steep actually, with a lot of pine needles, so I'll have to be careful not to slip. Finally made it. That was not an easy portage. A lot of slippery rock, and I know from experience how dangerous that can be. Made it to my lake for tonight, Great Mountain Lake. And uh, I'm very excited to explore this lake and to see what my campsite's gonna be like. Oh, wow. This is why they've called it Great Mountain Lake. Look at that. And here's my campsite. All right. All right. Let's check it out. Well, first of all, this view is absolutely incredible. Wow. Nice exposed point. Perfect for when it's a lot warmer than it is today, but I am not complaining. It's incredibly windy. This is not a very pretty tarp setup, but it's actually doing the trick quite well. Oh. Oh. Feels nice. Damn, that wind is cold. Well, for the first time ever, I fell out of my canoe. I was coming back from taking a closer look at the beautiful mountains there. And I just, uh, I really didn't take my time. I rushed and I tipped over in the <laughs> disgusting swampy water. So I'm fully soaked now. My boots are full of water. These are my only pants, my only boots. And uh, it's cold. It's going to be, it's going to get down to zero degrees tonight. So I need to try to dry this out as well as I can. 
I know I do have some clothes that I keep dry to sleep in, like a puffy jacket, long johns, and uh, an extra pair of socks. So I'll be fine to sleep, but I still want to try to get this dry and clean myself up a bit. You can still see the cloud of mud that I kicked up <laughs> trying to get myself out of that. It's very, it looks shallow, but I actually went pretty deep in it. It's just pure mud. I am an idiot. All right, well, I retreated to my tent pretty quickly after that happened, actually. Um, I started getting really cold very quickly. The wind is just bitterly cold, and uh, I start started use, uh, losing sensation in my hands. It, took, it was actually difficult for me to set up the tent, um, and uh, they're really numb right now. So I stripped naked, and uh, everything that's wet is out drying. The, the wind should be able to dry it dry my clothes out pretty quickly but i just need to warm up right now i'm nice and and comfy in here i just have this uh on, on me right now <sighs> but i feel better so i'm gonna make myself a hot drink and just uh warm up gotta be very careful out here and if you get wet um you can start getting cold and possibly uh, suffer hyperthermia quite quickly so i can even tell that i'm having time a uh, hard time pronouncing words Got my water boiling here, French vanilla, nice and comfortable in my tent, and I'm gonna treat myself to my favorite chocolate bar, coffee crisp. Mm mm mm. I love my coffee. All right, well, I've got everything drying, tarp is still up but uh, I'm still a bit chilled, so I don't think I'm gonna stay out. I think I'm gonna retreat back to my tent and make myself some something warm to eat. Dinner tonight's gonna be pork jambalaya. I've had it before, it's really good. This feels nice. Well, this fire feels really nice after being chilled to the bone earlier today. Got plenty of firewood to process. We'll saw it up as I burn through this. And uh, I plan to sit here for a few hours and just enjoy this, enjoy the warmth. And finally, the winds have calmed themselves a bit. So that's probably going to be it for me for tonight. So I'll see you guys in the morning. It's 4 a.m. and the wind gusts are extremely strong. So, sounds like I'm gonna have another windy day. Well, here's a weather update. It is absolutely bone chilling this morning. The wind is so cold. 
it says feels like minus seven, but I think on this particular site, given how the wind seems to funnel through, it probably feels like minus 10. I'm so glad I have this tarp up. I'm definitely gonna take my time this morning. All right, here's my route for today. I'm camped right here at the bottom of Great Mountain Lake. The wind, the north wind has just been funneling through since I arrived yesterday, bitterly cold. So amazing campsite, but not the best for a day like today and yesterday. So my route for today, I'm leaving Great Mountain Lake. I've got a short portage into Little Mountain Lake here. Immediately going into uh, almost two kilometers of portages here, then some small creek travel with uh, portages around rapids and falls, and then I'll be arriving at Three Mountain Lake. I have two options for my route. I can either paddle all the way to my campsite 315 up here, or I can do some additional portages, go through York Lake, and then to 315. One final look at these beautiful quartzite mountains. What a difference one portage makes. I went from hurricane force winds to a beautiful calm lake. Just one portage. Oh. This is nice. Oh. Water's very clear here. Gorgeous in here. Uh, oh no.
Oh boy. I'm gonna get past this. some miles. The sun feels amazing. Oh my god. I'm going to be turning around a bend here. I think I'm going to be facing a headwind. just growing in less than an inch of soil. It's incredible. My campsite's on the very north end of this lake. And I'm almost there. Finally made it. My campsite for tonight. All right. All right, I've got myself a nice little wood supply here. Should be more than enough to last me the entire night.
So, dinner tonight, one of my favorites, chili mac with beef. Chili mac. Good morning. Well, it's 8.30 and it was a cold night. I was struggling to get up, open my tent door, get out of this cozy sleeping bag, but just had a peek. And uh, looks like a beautiful day. device in there. So today's going to be my longest day of the trip so far. I have a lot of paddling to do this morning and then I'll be tackling the pig portage. That's its nickname. Going to have some warm breakfast. I've got my granola and berry cereal. I'm going to be using some of my leftover warm water from my coffee because I don't really want to be eating any anything cold right now. All right, so here's my route for today. I'm camped here at the very north end of Three Narrows Lake. I'm pretty much in the middle of the park right now. So I've got some paddling to do this morning. The remainder of Three Narrows Lake through these narrows here all the way till this portage here which is nicknamed the pig it's the highest portage in the park it goes over a mountain ridge right here so there's an 800 and 400 so it's a total of 1200 meters once i'm done that i have a 540 meter portage into artist lake a few more small portages here 620 and then i'll be camping on osa lake tonight On the water at 11 a.m. It's like clockwork every day it seems. <laughs> Anyways, got some progress to make now but thankfully there's not a breath of wind so it's gonna make things easier for me. What a perfect morning. So I'm on day four now. Since I started this trip, I've only seen one paddler. That was on the first day on David Lake. Didn't see anyone else camp at David Lake except for that one party. And, uh, you know, Killarney is such a beautiful park, beautiful place. It's hard for me to believe that I'm the only one in here right now.
right, here we go. Just keeps going and going. Whenever you think you're at the top, nope. <laughs> keeps going. I think this might be it. The top. Come on. Oh yeah. Made it to the top. All right. These cliffs here. All right. So now to go back down, not slip. Oh yeah, that's going down. That was tough. I can't imagine double carrying those portages. That would take the better part of a day. It's a very shallow lake. Swampy. now just a little further to go here we go last portage of the day This is going to be 
yet. I'm exhausted. It's uh, quarter past five. I didn't eat enough today. It was a long day and uh, I'm feeling it now. I'd like to make myself a fire tonight, but I'm not sure if I even have the energy. I have an hour of daylight left. We'll see, I'll set up my tent. I'm gonna finish my trail mix here and then see how I feel. Alright, I've decided to keep it very simple, just a coffee, some beef jerky for dinner, and then my favorite chocolate bar, <laughs> coffee crisp. Getting an early start today. Got my coffee, my first one anyways. It uh, rained quite a bit overnight. Everything's damp. Stopped raining for now, but uh, the weather later on today is looking to be quite crazy. So I want to get on the water early, make some distance, and then we'll see what happens. Alright, so I'm camped on OSA Lake right here, campsite 64, to the access point, the exit. It's a total of 30 kilometers. Although I don't really trust the weather on my Garmin, it was not calling for any rain overnight, and it did rain overnight. It is, however, calling for thunderstorms later today, then straight rain and very high winds all night tonight and tomorrow. So I don't want to be paddling in that, and I certainly don't want to be camping on the highest campsite in the park tonight in the middle of a thunderstorm and high winds. So my goal now is just to try to make it as far as I can today. Um, of course, if I camp anywhere, I'm not booked on those lakes. So if someone shows up, I'm gonna have to move, but I think that's highly unlikely given the time of the year and the weather forecast for tonight. Just past 8 30 a.m. and uh, it already looks like it's about to rain. The mountaintops up ahead are right in the clouds.
aggressive. First portage is right ahead. Water is so clear. Look at that. This place is absolutely breathtaking. This is my favorite lake in the park. I'll try to camp here someday. I'm sure it's busy as can be through most of the year. Cute little guy. There he goes. This is my longest remaining portage of the trip at 1300 meters. so good in here. I got bitten by something on my first day here. This is day five. I've been scratching it so it's a little red here. My arm's red but it's still there, still very itchy. I hope this wasn't a tick. I didn't notice a tick on me. Um, but yeah, a little bit concerning. All right, you can see the water all the way down there. But it looks like this is where it gets steep so I'm gonna rest up for a minute before I tackle this. All right, got that out of the way. The last portion of that portage was extremely steep, uh, pretty treacherous. Well, I can't believe it, but I am actually hearing thunder in the distance. I've heard it multiple times now. Thought I was hallucinating, but I definitely heard it this last this last time. It's very low, it's far away, but I mean the sky doesn't even look like there's a storm coming. Not right, not to me anyways, but I'm definitely hearing something, so I better get moving. If it hits before I reach my intended campsite, then I'm going to have to figure something out.
All right, that's the last significant portage of the trip done. 840 meters. I actually slipped on a wet log in the portage and dropped the canoe off of my shoulders onto the ground, but uh, she's still floating, so I'm sorry. actually a campsite right here oh wow this site is gorgeous pretty exposed though but look at that the falls run right down there and there's another lake here in the back Another amazing view. Wow. I think this is gonna be it. Yeah, the views from this site are spectacular. It looks like the dark clouds are rolling in, so I'm gonna get set up. Looks like I stopped right in time. It's starting to rain right now. What a view. Got my trail mix here. Nice and cozy and dry under my tarp. Be able to just relax and enjoy my final night. This is turning into a really nice evening. Feels a lot warmer than any day of this trip so far. And uh, the rain has stopped, so hopefully it holds off. Who knows, I might be able to have a fire tonight. Just out looking for some firewood and came across this tree. Wow. It's got like a spiral pattern to it. Well, I'm really glad the rain held off. Got a cozy little fire, sound of the falls. This is just a magical place. And a perfect final evening to this.
the six day trip. starting to rain again so I'm back under the tarp but it's time for me to hit the hay so I'll see you in the morning. morning. It's uh, 7 30 a.m. Rain through the night. There was some lightning and thunderstorms but nothing too close, too scary. Um, just got some coffee on the boil right now and uh, gonna get things set up and try to get on the water early as the forecast I have shows that there's gonna be some strong winds today. I want to try to avoid that and just try to get out of here without incident. Right, back on the water. 14K to go today, and I'll be back in my car. This was an incredible campsite. Definitely would like to come back here someday to enjoy it in fair weather. But, um, you know, coming at this time of the year does have its advantages. I've had this site, this lake, and the entire park, it seems, all to myself for the entire trip. So, can't complain about that.
All right, I made it. <sighs> what an adventure. Hope you enjoyed coming along with me. I'm gonna go get this stuff loaded up right now, get in some dry clothes. And I think I'll be ordering myself an extra large pepperoni pizza. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you on the next one. Whew. Not a single other car in the parking lot. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. <laughs>